Hello, hello. Welcome back to a new episode of Oxygen Not Included, Brooklyn Nine-Nine edition. And in the last episode, we built the bed and bath. And also, now we have a great hall. What's more is that now we also have a stable that is managed by our lovely Amy Santiago. Anyway, in between the episodes, right, we also built incubators. And these are controlled by these uh, timer sensors. I have changed another thing, yes. I have um, made sure that we're making mush bars forever. Because right now, our food isn't really keeping up. We have five dupes. Each of them eats about a thousand calories. And all that 12,000 calories would only last for three days. Less than three days. So we need, we desperately need some food and mush bar even though it is just made with dirt and water, but it will do. The other thing we're running really low on is power. I can often see two of my duplicates running on the wheels. That means two out of five people, like I don't have them and they couldn't do anything. I think I would like to take on someone so they can be dedicated to run on the well. As long as I can feed them, it should be fine. Let's welcome our very own Gina Nanletti into the team! Hell yeah! She's one of my favorites. She's just so, so freaking lovely. Okie dokie. I have also changed the priorities. I am not allowing them to do anything else I want them to do. For example, Amy Santiago, she should be focused on ranching. Everyone else is sort of on a similar priority system. And Gina, I want you to run on the wells as much as you can. Yes, Gina and Rosa, they're gonna be good friends. Cool, let's see this in action. So this is set to really high priority, but right now it is disabled. What I want to do is I want to reset this and 30 seconds should be long enough for Amy to realize she needs to pick up this task. that she needs to sing to the egg. And let's see. Once she sings to this egg and this finishes, I want her to sing to the next egg. No, come back. Oh no, we don't have any power. Yeah, I think the next thing we want to tackle is power which is why we just hired Gina. Gina should be running on the well constantly. Speaking of which, where is... G yeah, Gina is running. That's pretty good. Hmm. Amy, can you come down right here and let's reset the timer so you know you have to do this. Pretty please. Nice. So once the uh, lullaby, this whole thing, right, lasts for a cycle. This thing, the incubator itself, it takes about 240 watts power constantly if you don't turn it off. That's why we have these timer sensors controlling it. So we can reduce power usage, but we still can rip the benefit of being lullaby. Yeah. Looking at our base, there's a few things we want to solve. One thing is that I want to upgrade our bathroom. Um, let's see, I want refined renovations. I can get fire pole so they can run faster when they're going downwards. After that, let's research into sanitation and also distillation. But thinking of power, right? What kind of short-term sustainable power we can get? Probably we want electrolyzers. If we want to get electrolyzers, then it would make sense to get improved plumbing, temperature modulation, decontamination would also be good. There's a lot of different technologies we want, which is why I have installed a new mod. Well, the mod is called Research Queue, and it does exactly what it says. Now we can queue researchers, so we don't have to manually manage and come back here all the time. All right. That's a lot. Um, let's check out what kind of uh, achievement we have got. It's not raw, red light and green light. Cool. So we have cooked some kind of food and also we have automated a building using sensors or switches. Noise. Cool, cool. 
Ooh, another printing port activation. So exciting. Hmm. I am sort of uh, contemplating. I am debating inside, right? Right now, our calorie is hovering around 20k. It's not going up, it's not going down. I'm thinking if I hire someone else dedicated to cooking, would that be a good option? I don't mind too much about slow learner and I have a perfect name for our lovely auto. Charles Boyle. Everyone, let's welcome Charles Boyle to our lovely Brooklyn Nine-Nine precinct. Oh, I knew you would love your job cooking supply and cooking so basically what charles does right apart from cooking he can also do supply and storing just in case if he needs to supply these um, um food supplies right and i'm also making him another microbe musher so i can have two cooks dedicated to just cooking oh this is kind of tight with just 22,000 calories and seven dupes. Oh my God, that's only like three days. Yeah, that's kind of tight. I've been living on the edge, you can say. Oh, right, we built another one of these, but we don't have an egg for it yet. And I double checked. If there's no egg, there's no power consumption. I really want to get a improved bathroom, but how's our research going? Hmm not too well not too well do we have an achievement oh is the game lying to me i got lied darn this is interesting we have a new printing port activation i had a look at these duplicates i'm not too interested in any of them but we have eggs which means if we build a egg cracker right mm, okay now let's see we don't want people to eat mush bars anymore i want them to eat mush fries plus i want them to eat the egg now i can say i want to cook omelette forever as long as we have eggs right let's check out what kind of research we did ah our fire pot is ready cool let's build that Wow, um, it wasn't long after the last clip, but now we have our power generation. I mean, power regulation technology as well. What I can do is add a few jumbo batteries. Hmm, that would be pretty interesting. Yes, run on the wells, run on the wells forever for me, please. Our second stable is filling up quick which means we want to do this one layer up again. The reason why I'm replacing these natural tiles is because if you don't replace them, right, they can barrel and they wouldn't be always happy. The reason why we want them to be always happy is if they're happy, they, um, their reproduction rate is at, it should say 17%, but somehow it says 0%. Ooh, we got a sage hatchling egg. But I want to show people that this is 17%. Anyway, it is 17% and that means per six cycles, we get an egg. I figured out why they are not happy anymore. It's because it's cramped. Um, that's because right now, oh, that's really dangerous. We need to really watch this. That's because right now we have a sage hatchling egg right here inside the stable. Crisis reverted. Awesome. And thank you for helping me out on this one. If it wasn't with you guys, I couldn't have noticed. Oh, by the way, we have unlocked plumbing and also sanitation technology. And if you look right here, I'm planning to build the new bathroom besides the old bathroom. Once this is built, these would be teared down and then we would have exactly the sort of mirror image on the other side. So we have more bathrooms. Yeah. Looking at our calories right now, I think we are sort of um, free to hire another duplicate. Let's take a look. Travador, hmm, he's actually all right. He can do ranching and operating. Bubbles, decorating, suit wearing, 
building, caregiver, early bird, small bladder. That's not bad, actually. Um, we probably need someone to do some decorating, and she can also do building. Ooh, I wish she come with a master art degree. Hmm, that's all right. I have a perfect name for you, Bubbles. You will be Hitchcock. Hitchcock who? Just Hitchcock. Yeah. Hitchcock, welcome to the precinct, Brooklyn 99. You will love this place. I am sure you will love this place. And you'll be doing a lot of stuff. Hmm. I need to set up your priorities and also your schedules. Okie dokie. Since Hitchcock is a morning person, surprisingly, uh, we have set up a morning person schedule for him. And also we have set up his priorities to be mainly focusing on building and also digging, plus some supplying and storing. Awesome. Look at Hitchcock. He just joined the team and he's already contributing so much. Um, he has built all that in the first day he joined. That's awesome. Ooh, we just earned a new achievement. What could it be? To pay the bills, use a duplicate skill point to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Oh, right. I was looking at this page and then Terry has unlocked all the grilling. And also, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Um, I don't think Rosa needs any more skills than she has right now. Maybe advanced research so she can learn things faster. Yeah. And um, let's see. We have increased quite a few ranches, right? And right now we have quite a few siege hatchling eggs. We are incubating all those. Other than that, I am trying to add a automated water delivery system into our cooking area so they don't have to move the water all the time. I think the next steps, right? One thing is that we want to sort of concentrate all these water pockets to somewhere right here to a giant water tank. The other thing is once all this is done, I want to start a oxygen generation facility probably right there. Yeah, a lot of good stuff is coming. Nice. I was just giving Gina electrical engineering. I was thinking that, hmm, that's right. Gina is always interested in those uh, little gadgets, right? She always has her phone with her. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I have already built our modernized uh, bathroom setup. It's called a washroom, I think. Yeah, nice. And um, I don't have a way to deal with the exact water yet. Remember how I built this pool to contain you know, uh, water so we can use it to cook food, right? Um, I did something not terribly wrong, but it sounds disgusting. So what I did was if the water sieve can um, output the cleaned, the cleaned with air quotes, right? Water into the toilet, it will do that. But if it cannot, it will go into this pipe and then end up right here. And the downside of that is these water contain food poisoning. However, like I said, our food is always cooked. So after we make the mush bar, they will get fried and the deep fry will get rid of any kind of uh, food germs. Yeah, I think that should work. So I have accumulated quite a lot of polluted water right here from the old toilet setup. And now we're using this pump to suck them up and then using that, using the water sieve to clean them up. And see, this one is full, so it is going this way and then coming down into our water pool area for our food. Oh my God, this feels terrible, but well, it's gonna do for a while. And um, if this fills up, we can always expand it downwards, right? Well, someone just doesn't have the water tank yet. Hmm, I wonder who this person is. You know how whenever there's hatches, when there's an egg in their room, right? They get really cramped and they get angry and they don't really produce any eggs anymore. So I have devised a little gadget, which I am quite proud of. It's quite simple. Basically, it's a critter sensor and a automated notifier. 
So with the automated notifier, right, we can say there's oh just like hatch egg in stable mm, tooltip nothing and then we can say pause and zoom and this would say count x whenever it is below or above nice see that's how it works now i have already copied this upstairs so we can just uh, copy and paste the settings and it should just work it out awesome oh right i need to move that deck yes Nice, nice. So all these creator sensors has been set up to just count the X and whenever they do, ooh, I also need to copy the setting of this one to all of them. And I think, yeah, this uh, will notify me because someone doesn't have a auto sweeper yet. And right now we are researching everything we can so we can start building our oxygen generator. Um, we need that because we want to use all the hydrogen from the oxygen generator to feed into a hmm, hydrogen generator. Right, we need to research that as well. There's quite a lot to research. After that, I would like to get into solid transport. Nice, very nice. Yeah, this, this is coming along very nicely. I love this, love this, yeah. Oh, right, we have done another achievement. I wonder what would that be? Ooh, Royal Flash, replace all the outhouses and wash basins in your colony with lavatories and sinks. Awesome, nice. Ooh, you know what just happened? Um, right now, this is four out of five because one of them died of old age. I didn't do anything with them. I was thinking about maybe I need an evolution chamber but I'm still like accumulating the numbers yet. However, we got the meat and I think this would be our very first barbecue. If we look into the summary, right? And we can scroll down for the carnivore. Ooh, we have eaten some meat already. So this is not the first, this is probably the second. Mmm, interesting. And uh, it's kind of like a milestone of our colony. And I'm hoping, right, in the future, we can accumulate these um, sort of uh, meat calories faster, way faster than like, right now it's almost cycle 40 and we only had our second meat. Hopefully with the ranch ramping up to the full capacity, we can have meat whenever we want. Oh, by the way, uh, when you're building lavatories, right? They can be rotated. I learned that while I was watching Francis Zhang, I think. Yeah, I love how you can roll this. Ooh, you can actually see the toilet roll. Wow, such attention to detail. Clay, just wonderful. Clay is such a wonderful game developer. So I was just looking at like all the skills, right? And then I realized I haven't given them any hats yet. But out of all the hats, I got to say, the super duper hard digging hat looks so freaking cool. Ooh, look, everyone is putting on their hats. That's so awesome. Okie dokie. Ooh, wow, we are having so many eggs and I have already expanded our incubator range. Hmm, I think we need even more. Or we can start to build our evolution chamber. I finally got a snazzy suit and guess who would be wearing that? Hmm. I think I should have Kevin in this as well. Mmm, that's a good name for our next duplicate. Awesome. Look at Raymond. He looks so fancy now with his hat and uh, his snazzy suit. Very nice. So I built another crazy contraption. Well, it's not really crazy. It's just something quite interesting, I think. All these grooming stations, they are always turned on but uh, whenever we have um, any of the incubators being activated and we need Amy's help to sing the lullabies, all the grooming stations will be disabled. Huh. I think that's a really good idea because um, I was looking at Amy and sometimes she was taking care of these um, hatches, but uh, she wasn't coming here and singing lullabies. Uh, the reason why I want you to be here is that these cost a lot of energy and um, it's also costing us a lot of manpower to provide those energy. 
yeah, they should help out quite a lot. Oh, right, we have done quite a lot of uh, researches. Let's go through it together. Nice distillation, ventilation, pressure management, notification systems, decontamination, HVAC. Nice. What else are we researching? Uh huh. Improved plumbing. Sure. Anything else? And then, ooh, we should be pretty close to be able to start our hydrogen generator work. But before we do that, we need to make our big water tank and then use that water tank to make our generator. Oopsies, I immediately found a bug. I think I need ore gates to connect them together. Otherwise, um, they're always on. Oh no, oh, luckily I have the pliers mod. I can just disconnect all of this. And I think that should work. Yeah, for now. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I will fix that. I am researching into ore gates, into all the fancy computer technologies. It's called advanced automation. Yeah, once we have the ore gate, we can just uh, ore all of them together. Hmm, very nice. All right, if you have been wondering how I have been dealing with the hatching eggs, right? This is what I do. So basically we try to get our duplicants to get that egg as soon as possible. Once that is done, the egg is in. I set it back to nine and then drop it out, reselect. So now we have an extra egg on the outside. Yeah, we need sweepers. We need auto sweepers real fast. But one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Okie dokie, I finally made the decision to make my evolution chamber and I hope this works. It's very crude, but you know what? I only need something crude. I think this should work. As long as we have enough water pressure in here that can help us evolve our critters, right? Yeah, hopefully that's the case. We'll come back to this later. I'm getting so many eggs, to be honest. For the last, I think, three cycles, I've been getting eggs, like, constantly. I think Terry is delivering the egg. Very nice. And this is even more complicated than before, because we need to turn the door open, and then I want to set this to nine. Okay, that's about it. For the last few cycles, there has been so many eggs, I can't take any more. I'm gonna prioritize smart storage and then I'll get automatic dispenser. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, this is not uh, Raymond Holt. I thought this might be Raymond Holt and I was thinking, hmm, this really feels like that forced laughing episode. And that was super funny. Oh, by the way, we're building a huge water tank and this will be ready for our new Paku! I think this would help a lot with the meat calories. So, we finally got our automatic dispenser. We will be replacing our janky setup right here with a automatic dispenser. Come on, boys and girls. I know you guys can do it. Awesome. Let's make sure this is a high priority. And I'm also trying to make this a dedicated room so we can have a critter sensor to just check how many eggs we have in this um, evolution chamber. Yeah, that would be awesome. Cool, cool. Let's set up this to just be eggs and it's sweep only. And it has the highest priority. And then we can suppress that no power warning. Do we have any eggs? We do. Mmm, nice, very nice. I actually want to see this in action. Let's make that a yellow alert. And let's see. Okay, Rosa is doing that. Very nice. And... Yes! The egg dropped into the illusion chamber. And then, Amy, pick it up. You might be wondering, Amy, where are you going? Where are you taking that egg? Well, if you have an incubator that is available, they would take the egg into the incubator. So we can still maintain a healthy number of the critters we have. 
but if we don't need them, they would be evolved directly into their final form as meat. Yeah. Oopsies, I think I forgot to update you guys that all the Paku have safely arrived in their giant happy tank. And I have issued so many D commands because right now I'm kind of running low on algae. And these guys, they can eat a lot of algae in a day, I think. Yeah, they can eat 140 kilos algae in a day. In a normal playthrough, that wouldn't be a problem because you would have a lot of different seeds. And I really like to say and, don't I? I have a bad habit. They only eat about 0.3 kilos of seeds per cycle. And damn it, I gotta stop. If you look into the seed, right, each seed itself is about a thousand, sorry, a thousand grams. So that's one kilo. I was gonna say a thousand kilos. That uh, seed is just too heavy. Anyway, because we're not playing a usual gameplay, right? We are not doing any kind of farm, so we are having limited um, number of seeds. Another thing is that we are building a, what you call this? I think there was once I accidentally left the debug command on, and then somehow it showed me all the, like, all the critters. But going back to the particular ranch, right, this is uh, being prepared to have Dracos. We are planting, well, we are not planting. The pip is helping us to plant all these uh, mealwood. We are also digging a tunnel to lead all these um, natural generated hydrogens into this place. Hopefully they can move out of there because they are lighter than oxygen and oxygen is going in, hydrogen is coming out. We're gonna dig out this part, so I hope they have some room to move around into that location, which is where I want them to be. You know what I always say about barbecues? Free barbecues are the best barbecues. Not really, but you know, just go with the flow. Just, okay? Looking at the time in our video and also looking at our base, I think I'm gonna call it here for this episode. And I feel like we have done so much great things in just one episode. Looking at our giant water tank, this is a marvelous achievement. Not only that, we also built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven ranches in total. And we're getting constant eggs from those. Right now we have 31 eggs. Just wow. If we check our colony summary, right? Oh. Right, I think we got some, ooh, nice. We got a local war achievement already, nice. We can finally start planting some plants, but I think we still should prioritize. Wow, we have 52,000 calories from meat product already. That's awesome. Wow, I think we're going very well. Wait a minute, what about super sustainable? We have generated minimal amount of those. We should really focus on that in the next episode. Building a hydrogen generator. Yes. Cool, cool. I think that's about it for today. And uh, in the next episode, what we would do is, one, we want to get some Dracul, particularly the glossy Dracul version, so it can get some plastic. And then we should start our very minimal oxygen generator right here. So we can get some hydrogen and use that to generate energy. We need quite a lot of that as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really good target. But the thing about this is that, right? Only the carnivore has a hundred cycle limit. Super sustainable. It doesn't say you have to do it in the first 100 cycles, but I think we should make that a challenge for ourselves. Yeah, I think that's about it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave me some likes, comments. Cool, cool. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Bye.